Hi, I'm Laura Baumgartner and I'm a science teacher in Bellevue, Washington and this is one of my favorite exhibits at the Exploratorium. This is called the Disappearing Glass Rods. The exhibit is made of a tank of oil with objects suspended over the oil. Each of the objects is connected to a lever that you can turn with the dial in order to raise and lower the objects into the oil. So you see here that there are some glass rods that are held together by some type of rubber band there. And I'm going to see what happens as I lower them down into the oil in the exhibit down below. So as I do that, you'll see that most of the glass rods seem to disappear, all except for one. Now what I know about these glass rods is that that one is made of a different type of glass. Most of the glass rods are made out of a type of glass that has an index of refraction very similar to the oil that's in the exhibit. And that means that the light doesn't bend when it goes through the glass and when it goes through the oil. It's going in the same direction at the same speed. But for the one that's made out of flint glass, it bends a little bit as it goes through because the index of refraction is a little bit different and therefore the light changes speed just a little bit as it goes into the glass rod and as it comes back out. So you can actually see that change because you can see the edges of the glass rod there. And when I take the glass rods back out, you can see they're still there. They didn't actually disappear looking at a lens and the lens is focused or not very well focused on a picture behind it of the Palace of Fine Arts here at the Exploratorium and you can see that the lens is distorting that image as the light is going through the air and then through the glass of the lens and then back out into the air and so what we're going to try to do is lower that lens down into the oil and find out what happens to the light as it enters the glass through the oil or from the oil and so now the lens is submersed in the oil and the light is going through the oil, then through the glass, then back out into the oil. And as it does that, you can see that the image is no longer distorted. And that tells us again that the light isn't bending, it isn't changing um, its speed as it goes from the oil into the glass and then back out into the oil. So again, we have a lens that's made of glass that has a, uh, an index of refraction very similar to the oil and we're going to take it back up again so that you can see that lens again. So again, this is one of my favorite exhibits because it's really relevant to a lot of the things that we talk about in class when we're talking about waves and light and it's really um, relevant to what we see every day when we're out in the world and why we can see distortion sometimes and we can't see it other times. So really like this exhibit. Oh, yeah. It is recording now, you know that. It is? Okay.